Tonight, he is making the third defense of his title. Please welcome the defending and reigning WBC Super Middleweight Champion of the World. WBC Super Middleweight Championship Unification. I expect you to obey the rules we went over earlier. Touch gloves. Good luck to the both of you. James DeGale said flatly to us, I will not fight off the ropes. I will keep this in the middle of the ring. Sharpest punch in Jack's arsenal is usually that straight right hand. And it tends to work against South Pause as DeGale lands his own straight left. Left hook. The third punch of that combination scored for DeGale downstairs. Oh. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So Badu Jack with that laser-like left hand from James DeGale goes down for the third time in his career. Jack went down twice, courtesy of right hands in the opening round of his low loss mm -hmm. against Derek Edwards. Bobby Jack uh, sparred with Chad Dawson, former light heavyweight champion, a left-hander for this fight, so he got very good sparring. DeGale does not want to do is stay in front of Bobby Jack, use the, the angles and movement. And He's taking these little side yeah. steps to the side. He's changing the angle a lot. Their left hand. By DeGale, now again missing with the jabs, and that right hand just glancing. Oh, there's a counter right hand by Jack that scored. Throw the punches. So a, lot of, a lot of this fight is, is positioning of the feet here. Excuse me, James DeGale. And DeGale. He yes! Him, he finds himself almost not able to get his hands off. There's DeGale turning right hand the first second. Yeah. And there's uppercut. Scores by Jack. <laughs> Better defensively, right? Yeah. Oh, oh solid right hand, but the Gale absorbed it. Closes the distance, firing off those combinations. But... Let go, let go. Left uppercut on the inside lands for Badu Jack. 30 seconds left in the third round. Scheduled for 12 in this super middleweight title unification fight. And again, the speed may impress the crowd, but oh, the body shot nothing by really Jack. landed with any impact. And also broadcast for he had a word of advice. Here's Jack getting to the body on the inside again. Much less active round for James DeGale thus far. There's a right uppercut on the inside by DeGale. Yeah, very tight in family. Yeah, it's yeah. a family affair. It's DeGale firing off the blistering hand speed but Jack almost mocking him there shots of consequence and very even when it comes to total punches landed guys it could be a key factor Jack mm -hmm. continues to target the body every chance That's he a gets a nice combination that lands by the game because that could be a power punch for him he's not landing big power punches that one could work for him left mm -hmm. hook lands for Badu Jack final 30 seconds of the fourth I mean, Jack's having his best round thus far guys. Yes. he's going some solid shots this round final 10 seconds of the fourth round. Uh, DeGale has only landed two jabs in this match. Lead left hand lands for DeGale and a couple of lefts to the body as well. DeGale has started to land the left hand a little better in this round. Yes. Jack though, very precise with his Jack punches. opening up now. And this one, Jack was able to land some good shots. Yeah, DeGale leaning in, but it's battle. Jack continues to attack the body. Stop holding There's a... An attack to the body by James DeGale, and mm. now diversifying his attack, bearing it. Body hit. Well, the combination. Oh, left hook by Jack. Yeah, he. Oh, my. Good action. Good action between these two. Oh, I thought McKinney took one at the bell. It, on the inside, Bedgie Jack doing some excellent work. Oh, wow. That was where poor Arthur McCanty Jr. got hit with that right hand. Bedgie Jack did not mean and to do that. And he stunned him. He stunned him. Oh, 
Oh, nice count. Nice. Shot oh, count. Nice, nice left hook by Butter Jack. Inside. One thing I don't know, understand about Gale, he's very adept at killing certain little moments yeah. in the round. We're taking a couple of steps here, taking a couple of steps there. Remember, it is round by round, and remember oh, there was a count. knockdown in the first round for Gale, which Come makes on, it a 10 8 round. He's thrown, he's, he's, he's thrown a few oh. less punches than Jack in this fight. Right hook behind the guard by DeGale. <laughs> nice body oh. shot by oh. Bob Jack the Ripper. On that movement, it's going to make the second half of the fight very interesting. Oh, oh shit. Just cut. caught him with that uppercut. And avoiding them, but caught that right hand and a jab. Oh, hard body shot underneath by Jeff. But DeGale still throwing at the end of the round. <laughs> Good stop. Good action. This fight living up to it now. Oh, nice combination. Shot. Short shot combo by Jeff. DeGale using body movement along the ropes, but Jack going to the body. And the movement for DeGale is to try to limit the, uh, the spots Jack picks to fight. Oh. Good combination being delivered by James DeGale. Short and left uppercut on the inside landed for DeGale. Ironically, even though DeGale has the only knockdown in this fight, Badu Jack seems the more powerful puncher. That attack by Badu Jackal. Oh. Left hand right down the middle by oh. DeGale, but good counter right on the inside there by Badu Jack. And Jack's starting to realize it. He tries to jump on him. There again, the hand speed up. James DeGale on display. Oh. Going upstairs and downstairs. Oh. Oh. Right upper side oh. on the inside by DeGale. In the second half of this fight. And a right uppercut scores for Badu Jack. Oh. And a nice one-two there that, by that, Jack. I tell you that, he's starting to roll it. DeGale has the never been out. down in his career. DeGale's not piece of the game with no mouthpiece. Why is Uncle McCaffrey? He got yeah. away from it. No, 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 no. He could have come in and done that. As soon as the game clinched, he got a break. Time Resume his momentum. Oh, he was sharp up a cup. Jack body attacking piece. the body. And the body shot to the game. missing upstairs. Feeling almost. Oh, that he has to fight on the inside and do something with power, but that makes him more vulnerable oh. to all this from Jack. And a left uppercut and a left hook by Badu. Jack finds its mark, and another left hook. This is not tactically the fight the game wants right now. Oh, and a right hand connects. It's all Badu Jack here in the eighth round. What a fight, guys. Meanwhile, the IBF 168-pound champion, James DeGale, in the white with black and orange. And he's now coming forward. 90 now seconds for left in the ninth, and James DeGale attacking Badu Jack. Between the two top-ranked 168-pounders on the planet, both champions, oh. both wanting to unify oh, the titles. He's he's the that. mouthpiece has fallen out again. And he spit it out that time, man. Accusing Mr. DeGale of expectorating the mouthpiece, oh, wow. but DeGale going to work on Jack's body. I mean, DeGale's a sick kid. I mean, he's oh. liable to think like that. Lead right hand by Jack scores. You, you hate wasting shots by missing them when you're tired. And in the first round, James DeGale had Badu Jack down. Since then, has been a back and forth affair with Jack. Gaining the momentum now. Oh, and sharp left hand. Again, but they have both engaged in an epic, titanic struggle since. And now James DeGale, who has faded in the past in the second half. To pick the spot you can fight in. And Jack doesn't oh, want But Jack has him on the ropes, Paul. Jack goes downstairs. DeGale goes upstairs. Jack counters with a right look at this exchange. DeGale catches oh. by Nice feint by Jack before scoring with a right hand to the body. Oh. Mm -hmm. DeGale circles it to get those rests. Exactly, Paulie, and DeGale attacks the body again. Many, there are a number of close rounds, then there are some that are real right obvious, hand. and the ones that Jack wins, he wins bigger. Oh, that was on the belt. Right hand scores for Jack. Cuffing right hook by James DeGale. And make a point deduction. 
Just past the midpoint of this, the penultimate round here at Barclays Center. When the Gales pause for enough spots. Oh, there's that blistering hand speed, but it's the, the punch was the left hook from Jack. That was the most eye-catching. And that's the thing. It's the eye-catching shots when they're both playing. They usually go to Jack. And another left hook by Badu Jack. They're going to be sore. Jack attacking the body to Gale again, looking for the one-two upstairs. And apparently James DeGale has also lost a tooth in this fight, we've been told. By Allen, both have overcome adversity and putting on one hell of a fight here tonight, Paulie, to unify the 168-pound titles. Yeah, or Adonis Stevenson. Or Adonis Stevenson, Callum Smith, the undefeated... Oh, 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 it's Gale for the first time in his career. What drama here in round 12. And when you're fatigued, he's got a hold. Walk, walk to me. Walk that way. Walk that way. Walk that way. Vanu Jack Let's down go, in boys. round one. James DeGale down in round 12. Oh. Big uppers. And Vanu Jack strafing the body of DeGale, launching the right hand. Vanu Jack trying to close the show in style. Oh. Big trauma in the Big Apple. And oh. it's Vanu Jack. I tell you, these uppercuts are vicious because DeGale's instinct is to duck down. Okay. One hundred fourteen to one hundred twelve in favor of James DeGale. Both score the bout one hundred thirteen to one hundred thirteen, even a draw. The decision is a majority draw. Both champions retain their belts. Okay, guys, this is the WBC title eliminator. Give me a good clean fight. Obey my commands. Protect yourselves at all times. Yo quiero una pelea limpia. Obedezcan mis órdenes y protejanse a todo tiempo. Talk guantes. Both combatants like to finish their fights early. Yeah, they do. Both these guys start off really aggressively. Right here you see Medina pinning the undefeated Benavides against the ropes. And that's what he needs to do because he's the veteran in class. And world champions uh, ranging from a uh, right hand that caught the attention of Rogelio Medina. Uh, David Benavides started boxing at the age of three. He was in the gym uh, at the age of five. And a big right hand that backs up Rogelio Medina. Benavides now is eating some shots to the body as Rogelio Medina. Shot. Back comes an uppercut there by Medina. And Benavides answers back. John Shorley. Momentarily halts the action. It's in their temperament to fight like that. They know no other way. A nice left hook by the 20-year-old out of Phoenix, Arizona. I had my amateur career, but I was ready to transition into being a pro already. Only 15 amateur fights for David Benavides. Medina's trying to suffocate Benavides, but Benavides has a tight guard. And Medina goes to the body, but Benavides is willing to... In Laredo, Texas, David Benavides had a left hook there. Two left hooks to end three left hooks. It has been left hook city in the final moments of the second round between David Benavides and He's Rogelio Medina. And win the rounds. And a left hook there and Rogelio Medina, he realizes he is in there with a young man who has a Good great deal of promise. But back comes the man known as Corky. The big jab, the slow jab, the power jab. Benavides was just throwing one single jab and Medina, being the veteran, caught on to that. And now David Benavides is picking apart. Rogelio Medina, shot, and Medina now is going back. Appreciation of the fans here in South Texas, and a nice left hook there to the body by David Which Benavides. Like, well, a lot of these tough plotting fighters do. Good shot there to the body by Benavides Rogelio there. Rogelio Medina fighting for an opportunity to compete for the world championship, and Medina is picking it up and swarming David yeah, Benavides. Yeah. Draw with James DeGale and move up to 175. Therefore, there is and a nice right hand stinging Rogelio Medina. So 168 is Social media. Nice job by David Benavides, but Rogelio Medina continues to try to walk him down and is looking to throw punches in, in punch. Medina's style. It's not in his repertoire. He just likes to go forward. Take two, three punches right there. He's hurt. A Benavides right hand followed by a left hook, and David Benavides may have Rogelio Medina in some trouble. And an uppercut, and Medina, how is he still standing? He is taking a ton of abuse, and he moves forward. This is incredible to watch. It really is. 
Benavidez damn near decapitated Medina. Medina still coming forward. For a kid that's only 20 years old, 17 and no, he's going down to the body, not getting eager. Good shot there by Medina, Medina the sly veteran, trying to catch the youngster. He did not, he was not erratic, and now uppercuts followed by hooks. Look at this work by David Benavides with his back on the ropes. Oh my, my goodness, goodness, a seven punch combination. This is why they believe so much in this 20 year old. Oh, Slits him with a right hand. Oh my you goodness. You know, Sergio, that David Benavides is looking at the likes of Javante but Davis. Not with, not with him. I think he's really, really impressing a lot of people tonight. And you know what? <laughs> Credit to Medina, too, because Medina's taking some hellacious punishment. And, and then the winner of this matchup will fight that winner. And a big right hand on the side of the head of Rogelio Medina. But back comes the 28-year-old. Oh, good shot there by Porky Medina to the body. Sneaky little body shot, but even better right hook by Benavides. What a slugfest this has been through five. And we are going to see a sixth round. Two left hooks by David Benavides, but back comes Medina. And you know David Benavides is aware of that. A big right hand backing up Medina. Oh, he should. He's throwing everything but the kitchen sink. And you know, when you're throwing those punches, not only that, but it, dem it demeans you a little bit because you realize, man, I'm used to knocking everyone out. Serve him well, Sergio, don't you think, to try to go to the body of Because right now, he doesn't want to get momentum away. Medina is still coming and plotting forward, trying to land it's this It's a family bitch. affair when it comes to the Benavides clan. Jose Benavides Sr. trains his younger yeah. son with his back against the ropes. He is throwing. Oh, shot. This is a heavy onslaught by David Benavides as he is pouring Rogelio Medina, a big right hand. John Trolley watching it. David Benavides has tried to make a Let's statement and finish off Rogelio Medina. Will the Medina clan win the right back? And Let's now John this. Trolley is going there. It's a knockdown. Medina not happy about this is, it. This is really good. Excellent fight. Heavy right hands by David Benavides. Oh, good shot there by Medina. Left hook. And would you believe that David Benavides... He has the experience in and out of the ring, and not only that, the young man has a, a veteran's temperament. Good shot on 100 seconds left in the seventh round. And Benavides, tight defense, an echoing right hand. Above the right eye of Rogelio Medina. Two straight right hands that bounced off the side of the skull of I mean, Medina. He, if anyone deserves a round off, it's Benavides, but Medina won't let him. Medina's just in his face, putting on the pressure, and Benavides is just forced to punch and Medina back. now has a tight guard, but he could oh. be too brave for his own good. And what a stinging left uppercut by David Benavides backing up Rogelio Medina. And a body shot there as Medina, but he comes upstairs. Look at that. He always has Medina, a puncher's man. chance. Medina has to be one of the bravest fighters oh, I've seen in person. Seven. Eight. Okay. okay. For all the headshots he took, oh. it was a body shot that dropped Medina. It was that right uppercut on the solar plexus by David Benavides that put down Porky Medina. was extremely crafty out of Benavides to go ahead and say, okay, the head's not shot. And another body shot. Mm -hmm. And a left hook to the body. And now David Benavides comes upstairs and is trying to it's bring it into the night of Porky Medina. What a punch! And the down goes Medina! And David Benavides has starched Rogelio Medina. And now it is Benavides who will challenge for the world title in the near future. Great job by the referee because the will of this man, Porky Medina, was not going to relent. His corner wasn't going to stop. From Liverpool, he is the reigning WBC Cruiserweight Champion of the World, Tony Bobber!